Hello guys, welcome back to SFGens and here we are with another next fun tutorial. Now today I'm gonna show you how images are formed and stored in computer on the basis of OpenCV. Okay, so let's get started. First of all, what are images? So images are the 2D representation of colors or we can just say visible light spectrum which we see through our eyes. Like red green blue and all sort of colors in a single pixel so here the pixel we mix different varieties of color and we get a new color or we can say we fill out uh, these pixel in such a manner that we get an image so that's how images are formed in real life and that's how our brain processes it so Let's relate it to our human eye. This is a lens similar to in our eye. And this is a plane and suppose we are uh, reflecting an image on this lens from a very infinite source and here is its focal point and we are getting this image on this point. The more focused this image, this point will be or the rays will be focused, the more sharp image become similarly happen to this happens in our eye okay so by ad adjusting this uh, focal plane here you can see we can uh, set its blurriness and all and this is our human eye as you can see uh, this is the image of a candle this is a lens and we get a uh, image inverted which our brain process again it into uh, this so unlike the lens and camera the lens of an eye is attached to the ciliary muscles that pull on the lens and change its shape actually brain and eye are such a combination that no one can compete it in the process of uh, image processing it is the fastest image processing our brain and eye process now let's head back what are the similarities and we can say difference between the lens and uh, eye or we can say a camera lens or an eye both human eye and camera use a lens to control various specification of color images like contrast depth amount of light allowed and focus etc so you can see the similarity we get every time inverted image and then camera and then the brain flips it into the real world to show us Now, how computer shows it? You know, like we know our brain processes it, but how computer does it? On the basis of OpenCV, I am telling you that OpenCV uses RGB color format by default, and there are other formatted formats like HSV, Hue Saturation and Values, and CMYK. That's a different one. So, I'm only discussing about RGB format: R for red, G for green, and P for blue. So by mixing these color, colors in a various manner, we get different colors like this. We are mixing uh, blue and green to light blue and then purple, yellow and mixing all this. We, at the center we get white. These RGB colors have different intensities from 0 to 255. Okay, like uh, 255 is the rich color, uh, not bright actually. It, it is rich color, the more darker color, and zero is very dull color, like faded one. By mixing, we get a whole lot of colors, as you can see here. Yeah. Now, how we get black and white? By mixing 255 of all, we can get black, and by mixing zeros of all, we can get white. So grey colors are formed varies by black and white intensities and are easy to process by computer. What uh, I mean is, I will uh, tell you about this right now by showing a practical. So here's my VM. Okay, now this is not uh, an open CV tutorial, but I'm not gonna much explain. It's just a simple code. Import CV2 module. This is a CV2 module with OpenCV, we can say, or CV2 module. 
and here is I declared a variable input image which is which is equal to I am to uh, cv2 dot I am read an image named beauty dot jpg on my desktop here it is and now I am calling a function of cv2 named I am show which will show me uh, show me input image that is stored by I am read into the input input image with a title hello world that's it and this is a function called wait key what wait key does it waits for the user to press any key when whenever we press a key it moves on and what it moves on is cv2 destroy all windows but we will uh, show this image on a window so this function will destroy it afterwards let's see So here is our image. As you can see, I told you later that it stores in a pixel, and each pixel have three different values of RGB, red, green, and blue, with different intensities. So. Let me again run it. And here our image again. So as you can see, suppose I put my mouse pointer in between, then we get values of r is 245 green is 236 and blue is 239 yeah uh, as i told you the zero is by mixing zeros uh, red of zero green of zero blue of zero we get black like you can see that here very less value of green red green and blue here we can see that red green blue equal to zero and here different values are there so let me zoom in 3000 times what we get these are the real pixels which we are seeing here each pixel have three values here you can see like red green and blue okay red have in this pixel this particular pixel red is having 248 green is having 236 and blue is having 240 and if we move a different each each pixel has different value by mixing these different values we get our image okay so what I mean here black in black and white or grayscale images we only have single value of different intensities that's it like you can see uh, this is having 124 131 111 therefore single value Valued color is easy to easy to process by the computers. Therefore, in every machine learning model or open CV model or any computer vision uh, machine learning model, when we train our model on the basis of image, we always try to train it on black and white image. Because three values of a single pixel will uh, put a lot of load on the processor it, and this will take time. So that was a basic introduction to how images are formed and stored in computer. Thanks a lot and keep watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe to SMJs.